are determined to just keep on buffing the strongest towers in the game. So Ninja Kiwi has added two buffs for Drew to the jungle, as well as buffed Oban. The synergy between Oban and Druids is even more powerful than it was before. The change to Oban now allows him to just stack brambles a whole bunch on the map, meaning you can build up just a crazy defensive brambles and on top of that, they now increase the range of Drew to the Jungles by an extra 20%, meaning the buff is now 40% increase in range, which means this is the range of a normal Drew to the Jungle. And this is the range of the Drew to the Jungle with an open buff. So we're gonna be using these new updates and all of the possible ways to buff Druids to see how powerful we can make our Druid army. If you're gonna buy anything with the new update that came out, like the new Herald skin or any accolades make sure to put in creator code tootie you can help support the channel all right first off we got to get our boy open down we have a lot of things that are going to need to be set up here and we can just constantly stack down brambles which i think is going to be so very cool like that's going to be i like this so brambles has a shorter cooldown now and you can actually have five brambles down at once like, what are you doing? What? I love this change. I love this change. So previously, you were not able or not allowed to have multiple brambles down. But look at this. Now we can just have... It's kind of like a perma spike. It's like a little mini perma spike is what it's like. You can just keep putting down brambles. And I'm here for it. I really am. I am so, 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 so here for it. So we're going to put a whole bunch of banana farms around this spot. And then I think we're going to put a bunch of Drew to the jungles there. Look at this. You can just keep putting brambles down. Like, look at all these brambles. That's so good. They hit camos. I'm pretty sure they hit leads. So, okay, eventually they will disappear, which is a little bit sad. But you can stack them up even more. And I think they get... At least you can just keep putting them down as it goes along. So, I think it is absolutely amazing. Like, I am... Again... I cannot express how much I am here for this. You all know if you've seen this channel, Drew to the Jungle is my favorite tower in the game. And they just, for some reason, Ninja Kiwi just thinks it's a good idea to keep buffing it. I'm waiting for them to come along and just completely remove the tower from the game because they have buffed it so much in the past couple of updates, it feels like. They just keep adding little things here and there that feels like the tower is just... I can't, why can't I, oh my gosh, okay, here we go, it just feels like they're trying to have the tower just spiral out of control, and again, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here for it, okay, now, we're gonna need to put down a lot of towers, because I hope, my goal with this, right, is I want to get every single T5 druid, okay, but not only that, I want to make sure that I have Hoplus around all of the T5, so I want to make sure I have Superstorm, Spirit of the Forest, and Avatar of Wrath, all around a pop lust because it increases the pierce of all of them since i'm also going to be doing in more of an army of spirit of the forest i want to be able to have heart of oak which you gain one percent pierce for every life gain from the starting value after the upgrade so which means is i all i, I want to make sure i have all of my druids down that have heart of the oak because I'm going to make sure that we are going to get an extra 200 lives, which means all of our druids are then going to have 100% extra pierce. And it's going to stack with the Poplus, because Poplus increases their attack speed and pierce for other druids in the radius. Meaning that these guys are going to be absolutely insane. Of course, we're going to make sure that we have a village as well as a perma brew down. So as you can see, there is going to be so many things that we're going to need down. I have not been putting down any brambles, so I'm a little ashamed of myself. I am kind of tempted to just put down a, a little beautiful tech bot just so he constantly puts brambles down. But then I think he constantly puts down wall of trees, so I don't think it's actually that important. I think I want to put down all of my towers to get like a general idea of where everything's going to be placed down. And then we can put another village over here. Uh, let's put brambles down just to pop that. And this is going to increase the range so we can have bigger radius. Okay. And then we'll deal with all of that later. Okay. There's so many things that we need to have down. All right. Well, let's put down... This will be... Here, this will be one of our T5 druids. Good. All right, we have so many things. Like, we actually have so many things we're trying to account for and trying to make sure that we've got down and that we're, like, we're cooking and ready to go. The reason I put all the banana farms in this instance is so that I can just preemptively, I can just go ahead. And what's really cool is since Oban is level 5, and look at the extra range that this guy has, right? I need to put them down a little bit lower. And so now that open gives them more range. When you get jungle's bounty in longer range, look at the radius. Look at the radius of this for the ability. 
another and I keep I keep forgetting all the changes there's so many changes that I feel like I can't even fit them in isn't that crazy one of the changes that they made in this very recent update is that the jungle bounties druids now all use the ability at the same time which is really really nice like super duper nice okay there we go I don't know if I can get any more let's see Oh wait, can I put one more banana farm? Okay, this is wild, look at this. All right, all right, maybe I should go ahead and get myself a radar scanner. Okay, look at all of these banana farms. Okay, can I get some more druids down or can I only fit? Wait, no, come on, let me get three druids in here. Let me get three, no! Oh no, is it po There's definitely a way to fit five druids or three druids in here, right? Ooh, is it better to have one of these sold or just have two druids look at this look at how much money he makes seventeen hundred dollars from every ability like that's crazy oh i just realized i want to make sure that all of these have heart of oak so heart of oak um are we gonna have any more jungles bounty i guess we'll have some jungles bounty just like in random spots i don't really need them to be in like crazy locations just having a couple of jungles bounties i guess having them more over in this area is probably better right so having some jungles bounties just like Having this guy, well, let me get a jungle's bounty. And then we can go ahead and get another jungle's bounty. And they're just going to make so much money. There we go. Oh, wait. I needed to make sure I get longer range. What am I doing? What am I doing? I got hard thorns. Look at all the banana farms this guy's missing out on. It's fine. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to I'm not gonna whine and complain about it. I want both of these to come off cooldown. And then I want to see, like, the new ability. Because you basically can use them both at the same time, which is really cool. All right, so ready? If you click on it, all three of them just activate. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. That is so very nice. Okay, we are going up against a MOA, but I'm not really too worried about it. Okay, so we need to start. We're, we're going to start getting a whole lot more lives soon. Okay, so this is going to be our Spirit of the Forest. This is going to be our T... Let's see. This is going to be our T5. This is going to be our blah, 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 blah. And then so maybe we just put all three of them like right around in this area. I think that's... Or do we put them here? I think we put them right here. Okay, so this is going to be our three T5 Druids. This requires so much planning and calculation. It's crazy. This requires an absurd amount of planning. So I need to make sure this has Heart of Oak. Because again, it gives Pierce to all of them. This one also is going to have to have Heart of Oak. Because it gives 100% extra pierce. So it's going to work out very, very well. Because I don't really... Heart of Vengeance is for every life lost. And we're going to be having a ton of lives. So we really don't want to worry too, too, too much about that. So we have this down. So we can go ahead and make sure we just keep using... Oh, that's so good. And you only need one tech bot to really get like the most value out of your dollar. Which is so good. Which is so very good. Okay. So we can go ahead and then just go get Poplus. Because I want Poplus around every single one of these right all three of these need to have five pop plus so we need to make sure and we also need to make sure we have an alchemist is this is wild this is a wild strategy there's so much that goes into like min maxing druids to making sure your druids are the best that they can be all right another pop plus okay i guess getting heart of oak on these are actually going to be really really good right and then Heart of Oak, all right. Uh, let me just, okay, we have MIB, or we don't have MIB, but we have enough for that. So, all right, that's three Pop Lusts. Oh, there we go. And then that can be a Pop Lust. And keep in mind that this one is also gonna be a Pop Lust, because this one's gonna be an Avatar of Wrath. So these have the five. So we just need one more Druid here to give him, there we go, and then boom, all right, another Pop Lust. Okay, so there's all the Pop Lusts that we need. I don't really like this guy being here. Let me just sell this. I'd rather have the druid over here because that seems like look at this that seems like a so much of a better spot to have them Okay, so five five five. Okay, so this one we're gonna turn this one into a jungles bounty I kind of do I want longer reach increases range by a large amount or what I rather have can pop two balloons Each and pop any balloon type and I feel like that mixed with heart of thunder is gonna be much better Because art the heart of vengeance doesn't do anything so I think I'd rather just have hard thorns and that and then this one, obviously, we're going to upgrade this one to Druid of the Storm. Okay, so there we go. That has five Druid stacks. That has five. And then Oban, obviously, is leveling up as well. We're going to get our Alchemist going in a little bit. But for now, I kind of want to just upgrade these Banana Farms. 
I think that's gonna be really nice. And we wanna make sure that we upgrade all of these to marketplaces because the marketplaces, they increase our lives. And so every time the marketplace gives us extra lives, every single one of these druids increases their pierce by 1% up to a max of 100%. So when we get to like 250 lives, cause we kind of started a little bit late, all of these druids will have like an insane amount. And now that I think we have all of the things down that we need for all of these druids, I don't think there's any other buffs that we really need for them. I think what I really want to do is just add some more of these druids down because these just get crazy range. Jungle's bounty. Look at the range. It's like global range. That is absolutely wild. I want to just kind of put these down. And you just make so much money. It's insane. Look at this 5,000. They just pay for themselves. Easily pay for themselves. All right, there we go. Obin has this down. And we can just keep putting brambles down too. And we can just keep spamming brambles. There we go. All right. And remember, we do need a decent amount of money. Do I need to upgrade all these to central markets? Is that going to be required? I don't think so. I think we'll have enough money to be able to buy everything that we've ever wanted. I'm kind of tempted to get myself a, a sub just because. All right, ready? We can just use all of them. We have eight of them. We go from 38,000 to 48,000. That's $10,000 in ability. We just have our own monkey nomics right now. Wait, we literally have a monkey nomics. So we can just start getting some crazy stuff here. So we have our spirit of the forest. So now we have a spirit of the forest that has five pop plus stacks which is just absolutely wild. That is so crazy. So we go ahead. I also want to work on getting ourselves a perma brew, which uh, I don't really know what's... Wait, why is this seven? Oh, is this one on cooldown? Yeah, this guy's on cooldown. There we go. Now we can use that. And now we're just making big money. Big, big money. All right, look at this. Round 60. As soon as it walks in, radius of it is just game over. Oh, we can get jungle drums as well. Oh, we're going to need to get an ultra boost to ultra boost all three of these towers. There's no way anything's ever going to make it out of this alive. This is a way too strong of a strategy. It's too good. New, look at the range of it. And I don't even have that extra range boost. His range would be like out here if I did. Not that I really need it. I guess we'll go ahead and get just faster throwing an acid pool. Let him just go crazy. Let him do his thing. Oh my gosh, since this is a magic monkey as well, Oban increases his range and attack speed. That's so good. Increases attack speed and magic monkey. Cooldowns are reduced by 5%. Wait. So Oban also increases the amount of times we can use jungle's bounty and make more money? Oban. Oban, you need to chill out, my guy. All right. So we have our destroyer of worlds. All right. Do we also want to just get the avatar of wrath now? Yeah, I'm down. So we now have the avatar of wrath, ball lightning, and then super storm, which is the next and last T5 that we need. And then I'm pretty sure... Uh, we can also go ahead. I want to get MIB, not MIB, but Homeland Defense because that's also even more attack speed bonus. Like, look. How in the world are balloons supposed to get past this? They just make this tower so... Look at how much money it made. It's made $23,000. Look at this banana farm. It's made $13,000. Look, this this has made $13,000 and this has made $23,000. And look at the cost difference. It's like this one's $300 more expensive. Isn't that wild? Granted, you've had to put down all these other banana farms around it, so that's a little bit skewed, but still kind of crazy. And also, not to mention, it has 28,000 pops. That is wild. All right, let's go ahead. Let's just get Superstorm. All right, so we have all three T5 Druids. Oh, look at how many buffs all of them have. Oban buff, they got Jungle Drums, they got Perma Brew, they got five stacks, they got Camera Detection. We are cooking. All right, we are absolutely cooking cooking now we have thirty-two thousand dollars. it's round 74 nothing i don't think ever anything ever dreams of making it out of this setup i don't think it's ever gonna happen i don't think so i'm pretty sure that these balloons are just all done so let's actually i i i should have done this a long time ago but i'm just gonna go ahead and get an energizer one it's just gonna allow us to make more money but two It'll allow us to, when we get an ultra boost, to make way more money, which is kind of the goal of kind of what I really want to start doing now. Because I want to start ultra boosting all of these towers. Because I want these to be the strongest that they can be. Look at all of the things that come up and just grab the balloons instantly. Instantly. And then we just have a tremendous amount. By the way, since we have a thousand lives, every single one of these druids now 
It doesn't show the buff, but Heart of Oaks, they have an X, they have more pierce. So the more, <laughs> look at that. that is the Zoe MG, by the way. That was the Zoe MG. All right, let's start getting into the higher rounds. This might be one of the most convoluted towers to get fully maxed and fully buffed. I think there's so many things around it to make sure everything gets crazy. It'd be really interesting to do a Heart of Vengeance build because it gains 10% attack speed and 1% for every life lost. So everything just has even more attack speed. But then you wouldn't be able to have any Drew to the jungles. Because they just give you lives. So that's probably not the best option that you would want to use. This is kind of disgusting. Alright, we have we're almost completely maxed on Ultra Boost. Is there any other buffs or things that we could give to the Druids to make them even more insane? I don't think so. <gasps> Look at round 95. Holy cow. The Ultra Boost just blows everything back. These three towers work together way too well. Let's see how the BAD fares, all right? Boom. Dead. Dead, dead, dead. I'm skipping straight up to round 140. Remember, their pierce is insane because they have so many pierce buffs. All right, fortified BAD. Let's see what you got. All right, attack speed. This is getting demolished. It's getting demolished. It got demolished. Look at how many pops that the druids get. I didn't actually know that the druids could get so many pops. Look at this. This is an absolutely insane strategy. I'm loving this. I love the range buff that Oban gives. It's literally global. This druid of the jungle can constantly be attacking. It is absolutely beautiful. It is absolutely wild. And then you can just push one button and get all the money in the world. I think the Druid has always been a little cracked. But I think this with the Oban combination might have just put him a little bit over the top. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching and we'll see you later. Peace.